What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about how to stop your shirt from coming untucked. Has this ever happened to you? You get ready for work or school in the morning, you're wearing a business casual getup, maybe jeans, chinos, or trousers, with a button-up shirt tucked in. You got a nice, clean, neat tuck, you're feeling good, you're looking good, ready to take on the day. And then you get to where you're going, and you reach up to grab something and your shirt comes untucked. Maybe it comes all the way untucked in certain spots, or maybe it just creates the dreaded muffin top around your waistband. It ruins your style, you have to go to the bathroom and fix it, and then it happens five or six more times throughout the day. It sucks, it's frustrating, we've all been there, every guy has experienced this. Well today, I'm gonna share three techniques that I use to keep my shirt tucked in all day long. Pay attention because number one is by far the most effective. Technique number one is wearing shirt stays. Now these are also called shirt garters and they're basically suspenders that connect the bottom of your shirt to the top of your socks. So this serves two purposes at the same time. It keeps your shirt tucked in and it keeps your socks pulled up because who hasn't experienced dress socks falling down around your ankles throughout the day? I'll admit I'm relatively new to shirt stays. I know that they've been around for a long time, forever. Uh, I just hadn't tried them until this company called KK&J sent me some of their shirt stays to try out. And I gotta say, I am loving them. They really are the best way to keep your shirt tucked in. Now, you probably have a couple questions. You're probably wondering, are they comfortable? Does it make going to the bathroom difficult? Does it look funny? Does it feel funny? Here's the thing. It does take some getting used to to put them on. You know, it's not the easiest thing in the world. You have to do it a few times to get used to it. But once you have them on, they're totally comfortable. I'm wearing them right now, okay? They don't rub against your leg in a, in a weird way. They don't cause any irritation. You don't even really feel them, but you just feel this pressure on the bottom of your shirt like it's always being pulled down. And it gives you this confidence that your shirt is not coming untucked. It also looks very, very neat and clean around your waistband and midsection. But how do you go to the bathroom, you ask? It's a good question. Well, number one, it doesn't really change. You know, you're just standing up, you don't have to do anything different. When you sit down, you're gonna have to unclip the shirt stays from your socks and then clip them back to your socks after you're done. You know, it takes a few extra seconds, but it's not a big deal. I gotta say, if you haven't tried shirt stays, you should check them out. I'm not saying you'll wear them every day, but when you're wearing that business casual outfit, uh, especially like a button-up shirt tucked in without a jacket, you have to have a neat, clean tuck, and shirt stays are the best way to maintain that tuck all day long. So check them out. Technique number two, rubber grips. Now here's what I'm talking about. Uh, a lot of made-to-measure pants these days, or suits, come with this rubber grip tape that goes along the inside of the waistband. I've even seen some ready-to-wear brands doing this now on their pants. And this rubber grip basically creates friction between your shirt and the waistband of your pants, so it stops your shirt from sliding out so easily. Uh, it doesn't work as well as shirt stays, but it's definitely better than nothing. Now, if your pants don't already have this built in, you can actually go to a tailor, and a lot of them carry it, and they'll add it in for you. And if your tailor doesn't carry it, you can even just buy the rubber uh, strips online and then take it to the tailor and have them sew it in or you can try to sew it in yourself if you're so inclined. So like I said, it's not like a magic solution. It's not gonna keep your shirt tucked in as well as the shirt garters will, but it's definitely better than nothing. Technique number three is what I like to call the under tuck. Now this is where you tuck your undershirt into your underwear and then your dress shirt into your pants. So you kind of have these alternating layers. It's like you have your skin, then you have your undershirt, then your underwear, and then your dress shirt, and then your pants. And to be honest, I don't know why this works so well, but it really does. It's much better than just doing a traditional tuck where you tuck your undershirt and your dress shirt right into your pants over your underwear. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so, you know, try it if you haven't tried it. It does work. It's kind of like the rubber grips where it helps, but it's not a perfect solution. You know, it's not gonna work as well as shirt stays, but it's definitely better than nothing. So try it out. All right, I hope these tips help you keep your shirt tucked in all day or at least stop it from coming untucked so easily. If you have any questions about keeping your shirt tucked in, leave a comment down below and definitely check out KK&J Shirt Stays. Uh, there's a link in the description. 
And until next time, stay tucked.